All right, good morning. I'm going to start out, uh, I'm just going to warn you, I'm going to sound like a crazy person right now, uh, and, and I'm going to sound like a conspiracy theorist, uh, but I'm going to be intentional about that. Uh, in fact, I want to go big on that because I believe that someone is out to get you. I, I really do. That This Bible passage reminds me that there, I have someone who's, who's out to get me. Now, I know how you think about people who say that. You think, man, there's helicopters. I'm not talking about helicopters, you know, hovering around your house. I'm not talking about somebody who's surveilling you on your phone, which is listening to you anyway. It's hearing all of this good stuff now. Uh, but, but, you know, so, you know, there are places where they are kind of listening to us, and I'm not going to go down that tangent. But, but really, someone is out to get you. Jesus tells us it's, 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 it's a wolf. It's the wolves. In fact, he, he says there are thieves and robbers that are, that are looking to somehow take us away from God. And so what I want us to see is that like, there's this big threat because I fear that when we look at that passage and when, I heard, when, when you heard that being uh, talked about, the, the good shepherd, what's the image that pops into your mind? I, I know for me it's the most serene Painting, and we see these paintings, right, of the Good Shepherd, and he's, you know, he's Jesus looks just awesome, and uh, and it's this perfect little field, and and the lamb, uh, you know, we're 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 shown as the lamb that he holds, and you ever notice that we're all like so cute and innocent looking? I wouldn't harm a soul, right? I've got perfect white fleece, you know, it just gleams in the sun, and a bat, right, and and you'd love to have at a petting zoo or something like that, but I think if the image. Were, were realistic based on, on what Scripture says, I, I think, yeah, there it is. Uh, I, I think we would have that background. I was going to try to do this with Photoshop, but I'm not really good at that. But, but, but Jesus holding us would be, would be there, but the background would be a bunch of snarling wolves coming to get us. I, I have yet to see a picture of the Good Shepherd with wolves around, but they're there. They're there. You can't see them, but, but those guys are there. That's what wolves do. I really think, and I've seen this from every movie that I've ever seen with wolves in it, um, is that when the wolf shows his teeth, and when you see him, it's probably too late. Right? You're, you're toast. You better hope it's, it's trained by a human being, and, right? And you've got a, a, like, a, like a pocket full of dog biscuits or something or, or a slab of meat like they have in the cartoons that will just take care of him. But not, but usually not. Wolves are out to feed. That's what they do. And a lot of times we think, well, they, you know, they're just cute little dogs. They're just a little bit bigger than a dog. And I, I had this corrected for me a, a bunch of years ago. We were on vacation, uh, and we were at some place. And I don't, I can't, I'm trying to remember where it was, but they had these wolves. And I've always thought of wolves as, you know, there may be like a giant German shepherd. But they had these. They were all from like rescued uh, from, from different things. And they were huge. They were super scary. Like they would come up to here on you. And I'm thinking, can you imagine those, those guys hunting packs? That's the threat. And they stalk you, right? Remember, remember that movie, The Gray? Liam Neeson uh, did, did that movie. I guess all the other, uh, there was no one else to be taken, so we had to do a movie about wolves. So, they, so he flies in. I love doing it. I've, I've heard that. It's all over the internet. If you, if you Google that movie, you'll see that, uh, a taken reference, because he's done so many of those. You know, I'll find you, right? He does that. Uh, this is a very different movie. He, his plane, it's in the Arctic somewhere. He's out in the frozen tundra, and, uh, and he's trying to rescue somebody, I think, and, um, and it's him against a wolf or wolves. And the scary thing in the movie is that you can't see him. He can't see him. That's what they do, stealth. And they're always checking out. And they're going to they're gonna find the, the sheep or, the, or the, the person or the thing that is weak, that has wandered off, and that's what they do. That's what they do. Jesus uses this, 
image for us because it's a real thing. And I'll be willing to bet that, that when, when I start talking that way, we get very uncomfortable. Like wolves? Come on, pastor. Yeah, I have some difficulties with my budget. I have difficulties with, with school and all the workload that I have. But wolves? Come on. You're being a little over dramatic, And that's how we feel. I feel like we, we, we hear this preached over and over and over again, but, but we're, we're sort of lulled to sleep like, oh, but the, the wolf part, well, don't worry about it. But they're there. Jesus says this in, in verse 7. I'm going to back up a little bit because I think there's some other stuff that's really important um, because he, he says, truly I truly, he says, I am the door of the sheep and all those who came before me. There were a whole lot of people who said, just like we have now on TikTok and on, right, and it's on Snapchat, it's on every, every social thing, or, or even people who call you will say, hey, listen to me, follow what I'm following, adopt my philosophy, this is the way to live. They all say that, big bombastic statements to lead you away. Now, some of them are good, and you're going to get some good nutritional advice or fitness advice or guitar playing advice. That's cool. But man, when it comes to your life and your soul, almost all of them are going to say, like, you believe in you. I I, I believe those are our wolves whispering, subtly calling us. But the threat is real, and, and and they're thieves and they're robbers as well. There were a whole lot of people that God's people had dealt with who came and said, hey, follow me. In fact, it goes all the way back. And this dawned on me as I was teaching confirmation, right? So God, you know, even gets into my heart as I'm, as I'm teaching the, the, the youth. Uh, and uh, it goes back to the Garden of Eden. That serpent, right? Did God really say? They say he was a serpent, but man, you could, you could really kind of see him as a wolf, couldn't you? That's what he turns into. Devours. Suddenly, suddenly our relationship with God is, is done. Destroyed. And and that work has gone on and continued. And the thieves have come and the robbers have come. And what Jesus is saying is that he is the door for the sheep. He is the shepherd of the sheep. This is really hard for us because I'm not out in the field with sheep all day. So I got to rely on what other people say. And and, and why would Jesus use this? And why really, why does Scripture use this this picture a lot? Is that the safe place for the sheep is with the shepherd. These things have no, like I read that they have no homing instinct. You know what I mean? Like, like every uh, movie about cats or dogs, you know, the dog gets lost, you know, and it gets lost in California and finds his way to Pennsylvania. You know, look, you know, you know, Muffy came back. You know, how cool, you know. Skittles the cat, is, he's returned home from, from you know. He, they don't have that. So a lost sheep gets lost and more lost. And they wander and they wander. They don't have a sense of where they should be. They just have a sense of eating and eating and eating. That's, that's all they know. But they do know the, the voice of the shepherd. And so if the shepherd's with them, they'll go where he tells them to go and they'll stay. And if, and, but again, they like to wander off. They like to wander out of the pen, which in home base they'll have. It's a, it's a really well-built thing. It's got a gate and everything. But still, the shepherd keeps, keeps watch all night. That's why in Psalm 23, right, he has his rod and his staff, right? The rod beats down the wolf or the bear, whatever else it is, and the staff is when they fall and they need to be righted, he kind of grabs them, puts them on on, on their back and brings them home because that's where they need to be. That's the point Jesus is trying to make. You need to be home. You need to be with me. I'm the door for those sheep, right? Their their entry to go out, man, they go with me. And I guard that gate at night so that none of them wander out, but that they all stay put as well. And the wolves stay out. And when they're on the move, right, because the flock doesn't just stay in one place because these sheep will eat until there's dirt and nothing left. So a good shepherd brings them to different places at different times of the year. And so when they're out on the road, let's call it, on the road with the sheep, it'd be a new uh, Nat Geo special. Um, so they have like a, a rock wall that they just kind of make quickly. And the opening, the shepherd will, will often literally lay there at night. So if the, if the wolf wants to get in, he's got to get past Mr. Shepherd. And what Jesus says is the hired, the hired guy, he sees him running. He's like, not today. I don't get paid enough to do this. I'm out of here. 
But Jesus says he doesn't do that. He's the good shepherd. Lays his life down for the sheep. In fact, he says he's the door for the sheep. He's the door. Right? Everyone else were, were thieves and robbers. I'm the door. If, if you enter by me, you'll be saved. You'll go in and out, find pasture. The thief, right, stealing, killing, destroying. I came. I want him to have life and have it abundantly. That's why he wants us with him. It's why he wants us to listen to him. Why? Because he is, in verse 11, the good shepherd. In contrast to all those who kill, destroy, try to pull us away from God, he's saying, I want you home. I want you here because I, I lay my life down for my sheep. Be willing to die for them. And that's exactly what he did was to die for us. He says, the hired man sees the, the wolf. He's out of there. And, and this is, it's, it's weird. When, when, you, when you're reading scriptures, things will just jump out. The, the wolf, I don't think it's ever jumped out at me as much. That's what happens, man, when we leave. Or, or, if, or if the one protecting us were to leave, were to lose heart, were to, were to be kind of wishy-washy about his commitment to us. He, he doesn't. Stays, even if it costs him his life, and it did. And that's what he did for us. Bled and died, but that, that threat is real. And again, and sometimes there's stuff out there and you know, you can see that, whoop, that's a wolf. That's a wolf. And honestly, it's usually something that could kind of like tank your career, tank, right? There's just things you just go, man, I can't do that. These people are trying to entice me to do that. Like, like to, I don't know, man, like cheat on your taxes or like steal from your company. Or, you know, it's like, okay, of course. I see the wolf. I see, I, I see it and it's, it's pretty clear. But most of the time, I, I think it's like whispers. Because Jesus, remember how Jesus says, he says, my, my sheep, he says it very often, they, they know me, they, they don't listen to anyone else, they listen to me. They listen to my, they know my voice, they know it's me. And, and sheep will, will do that. They will only go with their shepherd. You, you could line up three different flocks and those three flocks will follow their three shepherds. Even if they, it doesn't matter where they go, it doesn't matter if they, if they kind of cross paths or anything, they will follow their guy because they know him. He knows them. He knows each and every one of them. One's missing, he's going out. That's what Jesus said he would do. He cares. He's the good shepherd. He knows his own. His own know him. Just, listen, just as much as he knows the Father and the Father knows him. That's, that's perfect connection, man. That is like perfect knowledge. With, with Jesus and the Father, there's no difference, right? It's the Trinity. So you want to talk about you or you want to talk about someone who really knows you. Listen, we got we to gotta embrace this because he doesn't just know about you. It's not like he's got like a list and he's like, all right, Fred, present. All right, good. He's here. All right. You know, Matt's here. Okay, you know, we're not just names on a list. We're, we're his people, his children, his sheep. And he loves us. And he's saying, stay put. Stay in the pen. In fact, he has other sheep, he says. And, and I want them to be in that pen. Have you ever thought about that, that Jesus is talking about you and me? Right? I, was not, I was not raised in, in a Jewish home. I, don't, I do not have a Jewish background, so that's who he's talking about. Um, we're those, if, if that's you, you're that other sheep. And, and again, his thought, one flock, one shepherd, all of us trusting in him and, 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 and being in, in, a, in, the, in the safe place, which is with him, where he is. And what the wolf is going to do, the reason, here's how you can spot the wolf. Well, the best thing is just to know the voice of the shepherd. Right, that's, that's, that's money. That, that, that'll serve you every day of your life. But imagine if some of those subtle things, if we could actually hear the growl of a wolf in them. Right? That, that person that says, ah, you don't have to give as much, right? Or, or you, can, you can, you know, everybody sort of, you know, uses, you know, let, let's, a, per, a popular one with, with, uh, with, with college kids now is, well, it's okay if AI writes my paper. It's just help. But actually, I had it write my entire paper. In fact, he ran, wrote the last six of them, the robot thing did. And, uh, but it's okay. 
Or it's, or it's okay to look at that, at that, at that guy or that, or that gal. And I can look at, ooh, it's okay. What if that was a wolf? What if you saw it as that? I, 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 would, I would wager that you would take that seriously. And you'd be like, oh, gosh, I'm not messing with that. Because that whole situation will, will quickly turn into a wolf devouring me. Because that, that's where that ends, isn't it? All those little temptations that seem like, oh, I'm just, I'm just shading things a little bit. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just cheating a little bit. I'm just, you know, I'm not really doing anything bad. I'm really, right, that's what our world says. That's, that's the, 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 the wolf's message. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. You, you can wander out of the pen. It's like, Jesus is right here. That, that's what he says. And we're like, oh, yeah, you're right. He is, he is kind of right here. It's like, it's like Finding Nemo. Remember that movie? I had, one of the, I had one of the little ones after the service. Uh, these two little guys, they came up to me like, we love Finding Nemo. So we had a whole Finding Nemo conversation. And, uh, and, and all of us get really stressed out when he is, he knows he's not supposed to go past that ridge, correct? Don't go. Don't go, Nemo. Stay here. He thinks it's silly. They're, they're just, they just don't want me to have fun because the fun is out there. I'm going to go explore. See, that's what the wolf does. He's like, go a little further out. Come on, it's okay. Jesus sees you. Okay, I know you're a little far away, but, uh, and you can't see him, but, but you know, he's the Lord. <laughs> the wolf will say this. He, he's the Lord. He sees you. He sees it all. Just keep going. Just keep wandering and wandering, and, and before you know it, you don't know where you are. I mean, that's the plan. And then the wolf shows himself for who he is and what he's about to do. And so Jesus said, I don't want that to happen. Like when the wolves come and attack, he's like, I, t- I, I am here to take them down. And he does that by allowing them to devour him. It's the most incredible thing ever, this love that our Lord has for us, his, his care for us. And he's saying, look, don't, don't wander off. Don't get lost. Don't get hurt. Don't, don't put yourself in those situations. And, and so we learn it's, it's actually super simple. This is how we learn what he sounds like. Right here. When we hear that he loves us, when we hear the, the truth about sin in our own lives, that's, that's him talking. He's not going to say go off and do something reckless. He's not going to say go off and do something sinful. He's going say no to say no to that. That's the voice, the voice of the shepherd because he knows what it's going to do. I will say this, that God is the only one in our world. His word is the only thing that's going to tell us the truth about everything. Because I've said this about a lot of different things. I'll use an extreme one like drug abuse, right? Like, um, you will never have a heroin dealer go to the guy who's never done heroin and go, hey, all right, dude, I want to sell you this, but, but I got some pictures of, of what happens. If, if you go down this path. Do you think they do that? I'm just going to go, could you sign this consent paper? I, I need you to do the waiver because, um, you know, and, and I even have a, a timeline of progression of what will happen to you. And, and you know, and, and, and a picture of a tombstone where, where if, if, if you don't deal with it, where it's going to get you. They don't do that. And nothing, listen, nothing that we could call temptation, nothing that we could call sinful, nothing we could call a wolf is ever going to disclose that. Just a bit of fun, just a bit of this, just a bit of that. But Jesus is saying, no, life is lived with him. Fullness, joy, peace, all that we need. The, 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 the Psalm 23 says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall what? Shall not want. You all know it. What he's saying here, when you have him, you have all that you need. Hashtag bless. You're there. Boom. No need for anything else. Really, no. Because everything you need, he's got. And even some of the stuff you really thought would be cool, he, he, he gives to us. It's how good our Father is. And he's saying, I'm your shepherd. Stay with me. Stay where it is safe, right? But because he lives like, that's our theme for this whole series. Because he lives, we know about the wolves, but we also know about the shepherd. We know about the threat, and the one who's out to get us. But we also know about the one who came 
to, to get us and bring us home. To, to adopt us, to, to love us, and to, and to bring us into his, into his fold, right? Into his uh, sheep pen where, where we spend our lives in joy and peace. Man, we might be surrounded by, 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 by madness and mayhem and, and death. It's just outside there. But as we move along in life, our shepherd goes with us to protect us. In his name, man, we trust and pray. Amen.